All right. So this was a photo that I got a lot of criticism for um, when I posted this not too long ago. Um, and I, I posted this when I first got this material, and I thought, wow, this stuff really has some body. You can see this sort of pine tree looking thing on the right, which is the Genial Universal Injectable, right? It's like looks like a little pyramid. And then here's another product, the Genial Flow X on the left, which just looks like this unshapely blob. Now, I like this because, again, it just stays where you put it, and it doesn't go all over. And now this photo, as I mentioned, came under some scrutiny because somebody said that I staged this photo. Now, granted, it is a staged photo, but someone sent me a direct message indicating that they thought that maybe I had placed a base, light cured it, kept building up, and light curing in small increments in order to get this effect. So I assure you, I did not. And um, I thought, hey, what a better way to show you guys exactly what this looks like than to show you in action. So I am going to play a video now for you to see just exactly how this looks. Here we go. So here I am extruding, placing a sheer stress on the Genial Universal Injectable. It's coming out, and at the very end, it forms a little Hershey Kiss kind of thing. Right now, note that I have placed the Universal Injectable first, so I'm giving it more time to possibly collapse. Um, I am not even 100% certain what this resin is. I get free samples all the time. It may be Filtech, but notice how stringy that is. Now, notice what happened with that, how it stretched and pulled and then kind of flopped over. That is a major problem if I am doing this on a tooth and it drags over a cusp without me knowing it. And so now I will light cure for about 10 to 15 seconds. And I will show now what this looks like in a profile view. And when I focus in, you can see that there's definitely a lot more body to the universal injectable than there is to the other resin. So again, this to me is huge when I want to place this in the mouth. And again, it's not sticky, it's not stringy, it's not going to stick to your instrument, which again is a really, really major deal. One of the selling points of this product is that you can use it to shape cusps, you can build up a lot of anatomy, you can form it. And again, in larger cases where you're building up half of a molar, for example, it is really, really key that this not stick to all of my plastic instruments. And now there's a lot of instruments out there that have titanium nitride coatings and all of these special things. Again, I don't have, I'm frosted on it, so I'm broke. So I don't have money for all that kind of stuff. I just want something that's not going to stick to my stuff. And this product is that. So if you take a look at some of the snapshots, uh, from the video, um, again, this long tail here that drags over the adjacent teeth is not something that is, is very, very favor favorable. And I always you know, say, hey, the, the proof is in the pudding. Just show me, right? So you guys can see this is not really staged stuff. This is actually what this looks like real time. Perhaps it's going to cannibalize some of GC's other other offerings, but I will only now use the universal injectable. I have ditched all of the other um, flowable GC products I have. Sorry, GC, but it's true. This is the only thing that I use because I want something that's very streamlined.